All right, so today I'm going to go interview my friend, John, from Yandel Trucking and ask him why he purchased a few Tesla semis. For those of you who don't know, Tesla, the electric car company, came out with a semi truck. And this semi truck is badass. Like, it made me want to quit everything and become a driver because you get to see the whole country and you see it from this like panoramic view. And of course, with autopilot, like, it'll drive itself. Like, it, when it comes out, I might take a year off and just drive and vlog that experience. Who knows? Let's go. So I just came here to meet up with my friend John, who's the CEO of Yandel Trucking. What's up, John? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Doing well, yourself? All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to do this. Let's talk about the Tesla Semi. How many of these things have you ordered and why? So we ordered uh, 10. Elon basically came out with that tweet saying that Tesla was getting into the Class 8 you know, truck market, you know, the big trucks that we drive. And um, we basically looked at that as an opportunity to kind of get ahead of the game, right? And, uh, you know, the opportunity came down to put down, you know, money to get into a reservation, kind of like they do with all their vehicles and looked at it as a great opportunity. So we put down uh, 10 spots, 10 reservations for the trucks. Nice. Yeah. We have 40 company trucks right now. Okay, so that's a significant amount of it's trucks. It's for sure. Was there like a, a timeline for delivery or? I think the biggest thing was they were trying to figure out where they're actually going to manufacture it before you even could consider when they were going to deliver it. I think from our perspective, we're looking maybe beginning of next year, hopefully for delivery. Okay. Have um, you heard from them about delivery or anything like that? Like yeah, we, we, we talked, uh, obviously being February, we talked last year uh, in terms of kind of an anticipated delivery date, because there's a lot of stuff we have to get figured out from infrastructure you know, perspective. Right, uh, let's talk about that. What do you mean by infrastructure? Right, you gotta have the chargers, but the trucks that we would take delivery of would be all part of one facility in particular. So... Which facility is that, do you already know? The Benicia. That facility will deliver all over the place and then come back home to charge. Correct. So, so all it's within a 600 mile... Correct. So all our trucks never go past 300 miles per day. All of them? Correct. The nice thing is with the range on the Tesla Semi, it actually fits perfect into our operational window oh. so right the range makes too much sense yeah originally what attracted you to the tesla semi was it the range that you were like okay this is a no-brainer or the fuel savings or the technology the self-driving what was the one feature that stood out to you the most well i think the biggest thing is being 100 percent electric right when we looked at it from a alternative fuel strategy the application uh -huh. is what drew us in and i think you know, before we even saw the truck, you already knew. I mean, if Tesla was building, it's probably going to be pretty badass looking. Right. Which, sure enough, it is. What about, like, the autopilot or, like, the platooning benefits? I think the biggest thing for us is, first and foremost, the electrification, offsetting, you know, our carbon footprint, our fuel. It's 80,000 pounds, right? So we're talking about, you know, filled goods wine. It is not light. Um, safety is the biggest thing from my perspective. You know, you can electrify it all you want, but if you're not making it safer for the driver, there's not, you're not really moving the needle for me. Are you excited about full self-driving or the platooning characteristic? Like one truck driver can drive three trucks, theoretically? So operationally, we're in the, we, we support the wine industry. Okay. And a lot of what we do from kind of Benicia and throughout Northern California, 
I mean, we're going to wineries that are tucked up in these little roads and all that. We don't spend a lot of time on Highway 5, right? On those long thoroughfares we're platooning. I think uh, it makes a lot of sense, okay. like for over the road carriers, but we're regional, 300 miles max per day. Drivers are home every night. You were working with Tesla early on, right? Can you talk about that a little bit? You know, with the trucks we have currently, a lot of them are hardwired with a fleet management software. So we get a lot of data from our trucks. If we could be a resource or anything like that, we want to be a part of it. They've embraced us, right? Which was uh, pretty awesome to kind of get behind the curtain a little bit and kind of see and feel the technology getting a test drive with it, which is badass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. that was the red one, right? Correct. Was, yeah. Yeah. Did they give you a charge time? Like how long it's gonna take to charge roughly? Is it overnight? It's pretty cool. It seems like the technology in the charger itself is pretty unique in the sense that it'll sense when the peak times are when, from like a billing perspective and charge accordingly. It's gonna know, adjust the charging output during that time and make sure and charge the truck when it's off peak. So it charges overnight? Correct. Did they say anything about making trailers that go along with the semi? My only point was, hey, you know, you, you have all these things with the tractor, but really, does the trailer just kind of counteract everything you're doing with the truck in terms of efficiency and all that? As you would imagine, they already thought about all that stuff, but I don't think they're gonna get into the trailer market would be my idea, just because can't be a whole lot of variance between those two things. Cause it has to, you know what I mean? You have to pick up and do different things and be applicable to a right, lot of different Right, the trailer things. has to stay somewhere and get picked up by another car sometimes. Exactly. Do you think having the Tesla Semi is going to attract a whole new generation of drivers? Uh, I definitely do. Uh, because, and the reason I say that, you know, our trucks are 18 speed manuals, right? And the newer group of drivers that are coming in are looking for automatics. There's just not a lot of drivers out there. I think a technology like the Tesla Semi is going to maybe attract a lot, a lot more drivers. Oh yeah. Um, like I, I, for one, when I saw it, was seriously considering just being a driver for a year. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, just to be able to see, you know, the United States. Because then you just get to see everything in a nice, like, you know, cabin with like a panoramic view. And This is the future of our industry. We're in, we got in at the beginning of it. Right? So it's one of those investments that holds a lot of, not just tangible value, but if you think about it, you know, what it means to our business overall, what it means to our customers, right? Being, being proactive about this kind of technology because we're in the wine industry. We're talking about sustainable practices and businesses. Those are the kind of people our customers want to align with. Right. So I don't want to be late to the party. We don't want to be late to the party. That's why we want to get on it sooner than later. Um, and we're willing to wait it out in terms of for those trucks to deliver because they're not going away, right? I mean, this is, this is where the industry is going, whether you like it or not. So you better get on board. And like I said, we got on board sooner than later and I'm glad we did. Thank you so much for your time. You're the man. Uh, it's been a pleasure and uh, hopefully it turns out cool. I, I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I appreciate it. Hey, right. And uh, I'll see you later. All right, man. Peace. See ya. That was super awesome. Thank you so much, John, for taking the time out of your day to chat with me. I think it's really cool to be able to talk to somebody who's actually placed 10 orders for the Tesla Semi and to see what the business use case scenario is and how it's intended to be used. So thanks. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please gently tap that like button and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I, I need to go do some push-ups. Hey, how's it going? I'm all good today, sir. So, you're an actual truck driver. Yes, I am. What do you think of the Tesla Semi? I think that it's uh, something that's been long overdue. I think we've uh, exhausted ourselves as far as being able to uh, use these big old dinosaurs to get everything moving around.